So Salesforce services. So Salesforce services are now in Salesforce CRM. Now here we have a Salesforce. Now any technology, you work on any technology, whether it is a Salesforce, SAP, Java, or any technology, there are a couple of services provided by the uh, Java or a, if you are working in Java, Java will be providing it a couple of services. Similarly, Salesforce is also providing the few services. Now, in this case, what Salesforce is providing as part of a software as a service. So, Salesforce is providing the Salesforce CRM. So, software as a service is nothing but it's a to use. What is the application that we have to we have in the Salesforce where the end users or a customers where they can use the application. So which is called as a Salesforce CRM. And Salesforce CRM is used to automate the marketing sales service process of organization. So you can see everything in the Salesforce CRM application. It has a marketing sales service complete process will be there for the organization. And where does the Salesforce CRM application stores? Now we know that we have a Salesforce CRM application as part of the software as a service. Now where it is storing this service? Where is the Salesforce CRM is stored? It is stored in the laptop or mobile or in tab. That means do I need to install the Salesforce? Now if I have to start working on the Salesforce, similar like the other technologies, do I need to install in the laptop? Or do I need to install in mobile or in tab? So basically, if you want to work on the Salesforce, do I need to install the in the laptop, mobile, tab? Now, let's say example, like we have a Microsoft Office. Now, if I want to work on a Microsoft Office, I know that this is, this is a software, right? So Microsoft Office is a software. Now, where does the Microsoft Office is stored? It is stored on the laptop. That means, what kind of a software it is? What kind of a software? The Microsoft Office is what kind of a software? Now, it is a on-premise software application. Anything that we are installing in the laptop, anything that we are installing in the desktop is called as a on-premise software application. On-premise software application. This has to be on-premise software application has to be installed in the system. Wherever you are working on it, there you have to install the software. Now, why Microsoft application is called as a on-premise application? Because it is stored in the local device. Or which is a on-premise means it lies on the premises. That means it is installed in the, which are the system you are using it. There, there we have to install it. Now, how can we access the Microsoft Word document? We need to directly search in the laptop. Like in laptop, it is installed. So you click on a search button and you will open the search button and then you will try to open the Microsoft Office or a WordPad. So you will directly open it from the laptop. Now, Coming back to the Salesforce, now where's Salesforce CRM application is stored? So Salesforce CRM application is stored in the server. We need not to install it in the laptop. It is stored in the server. Now, where is the server is located? Server is located at the data center that is provided by the Salesforce. Now, Salesforce is providing the data center. Within the data center, we have a server. Now, this server, inside this server, we have a Salesforce CRM application. Now, how to access the Salesforce CRM application if it is stored into the server? And if it is the wherever the data center is available by the Salesforce. Now, now how do I access the Salesforce which is uh, storing in the server? How can I access? So, through the browser and internet. You just need just needed two things. One is a browser and internet you need not to install anything in the salesforce salesforce you need not to install anything in the laptop so it does not need any installation from the salesforce side now accessing the salesforce crm access uh, application now we have a user user just needed two things one is a browser and internet when we have a browser and internet and the other side salesforce is providing the server within the server it has a database.com 
within the database.com, there is a Salesforce CRN is stored. So now user can directly, wherever the user is sitting, directly without installation in the system, they can directly access the Salesforce CRN just by having the browser and internet. Now Salesforce CRM is, what is a Salesforce CRM is called? Salesforce CRM is called as a cloud application. If it is installed in the system, then it is called as a on-premise application. And if it is stored in the server, they, they are called as a cloud applications. So Salesforce is stored into the server. So that's the reason we are calling it as a cloud application. Now here, what is the cloud application? Any application which is stored in the vendor server. And we are users are accessing or a customers, clients, developers, everybody is accessing the Salesforce through the browser and internet is called as a cloud application. So it's a simple example. You have a Ghana.com in your mobile, right? So that is the application. That application, whatever the songs are there, it is stored in the cloud. You are not installing any songs in the Ghana.com. Right, so we have a many applications that we are using in our mobile, which is a directly linked to the cloud application. We are not no need to install it. It is automatically comes with a mobile. Like whenever you purchase a mobile by default is iPhone. If you purchase an iPhone by default, iPhone will give you the option Ghana.com. Only the thing is you need it. Just browser and internet. Like you just need a internet and credentials. If you have an internet and connection credentials, you can play the songs that are stored in the Ghana.com. Now, what is a Salesforce here? Salesforce is a cloud concept. And what Salesforce is providing to store the Salesforce CRM? Now, Salesforce is providing server in the data center. In order to store the Salesforce CRM, they are providing the server in data center. That's about the software as a service. Software as a service is Salesforce CRM. And Salesforce CRM is stored in the server, in the cloud-based, right? It's a cloud-based application and stored in the server. The next service is infrastructure as a service, which is called as a IAS. The next one, next service is, the first one is a software as a service. And the second one, we are discussing about the infrastructure as a service. Now, as part of the infrastructure as a service, Salesforce is providing the storage mechanism, storage space, or memory resource, or backup, or a recovery mechanism. These all are called as a infrastructure as a service in the Salesforce. And Salesforce is basically infrastructure as a service is to store. The software as a service is to use, infrastructure as a service is to store. That means we are storing the, now Salesforce is, that means in the Salesforce we have a database.com. As part of the infrastructure as a service, Salesforce is providing the storage mechanism. The storage mechanism is called database.com. And this database.com is a, where we can store the Massive storage, like you can store all the information, like customer information, you can retrieve it, you can store it, right? Not only the customer information, there are different type of information, like a transaction information, like whatever is happening at the back end, those all details also can be stored into the infrastructure as a service. Now, as part of the infrastructure as a service, Salesforce is providing the database.com. Now, what is storage database in the Salesforce? The storage database in the Salesforce is like, these are the different questions. Like what is the storage database in Salesforce? So storage database in the Salesforce is database.com. Now what Salesforce is providing as part of the infrastructure as service? They are providing the database.com as part of the infrastructure as service. Now, so far we have discussed about the software as a service and infrastructure as a service. Now, 
Salesforce CRM and that means as part of the software as service, they are providing the Salesforce CRM. As part of the infrastructure as service, they are providing the database.com. Now, is Salesforce CRM and database.com, will it be enough to anybody to start working on or start using the Salesforce? Let's take a scenario. Now, Salesforce is already providing the application. Now, if they are already providing the application and suddenly, now I wanted to use the Salesforce application for the HDFC. Now, HDFC want to implement certain scenarios in the Salesforce. That means they wanted to start using the Salesforce. Using the Salesforce, they wanted to capture the customer information. Now, in this case, we have already assumed that they have started working on the Salesforce. That means there is the application is already implemented in the Salesforce. When it is already implemented in the Salesforce, now, If the customers are opening up the, for example, if you are opening up the some application, let's say I'm opening up the ICIC bank or HDFC bank. Let's take anything. Let's say HDFC bank. Now, if I open the HDFC bank, now the first thing what is here, it tells me that this, this is a trusted site. The first thing it is going to give me the information about the logo. If I see this logo, most of the members are just believe it by looking at the logo. Okay, this is a HDFC site or this is a HDFC bank site which we can trust it. Now, as soon as I open the HDFC application and if it says here Salesforce application logo, if it says Salesforce logo, now first of all, customers will get confused. What is this application? Is it a trusted application or not? Right, so the logo is going to give you the clarity and confirmation saying that, okay, I have opened the HDFC application. So if they have started seeing the Salesforce logo, then that is not the right, right? We need to update the logo from the Salesforce to the HDFC. Now, if, now in this scenario, what they have to do, they got the Salesforce CRM and the database. So the first thing is that HDFC bank, whenever they, they think that, okay, we wanted to implement the Salesforce, they will purchase a license from the Salesforce. When they purchase a license from the Salesforce, they will get a software as a service, which is a Salesforce CRM, and they will get infrastructure as a service, which is a database.com. Now, whenever the organization takes the license from the Salesforce, what they get it, they get the Salesforce CRM and storage space in the server. These two are, they will get it the license. Now, where this Salesforce CRM is running, Salesforce CRM is running, or whenever, when we open the Salesforce CRM, how all the features are visible. Now, how can we view all the features? Now, I'm opening up the Salesforce, or else I'm opening up the HDFC bank. Now, whatever the data is there, how can I see this data? Similarly, the Salesforce also. Now, if I open the Salesforce, now we'll see, we have to create a Salesforce org. We'll do that later. Now, when I open the Salesforce application, if I open the Salesforce application, we will see some kind of a data. Now, how can we see that data? From where the data is coming up? We know there is a storage mechanism. We know that Salesforce CRM is there, but who is bringing the data to the Salesforce CRM from the storage mechanism? How can we see the data? How can we, how, how the features are visible in the Salesforce CRM? And will this be enough for organization if they need to any other, like if they wanted to customize it, how they will do it? Now, let's say here we are updating the HDFC logo, the scenario that we have discussed. Now they log into the Salesforce CRM application and we need to go to the Salesforce logo and how the customers recognize this HDFC application. They need to see the HDFC logo and theme and color. They need to modify because whenever we open the every company, not only the bank, every company has a certain theme. Theme in a sense, there is a color combination will be there. Now, if you go to the HDFC, like a blue and white, if, if you go to the ICIC bank, 
so it has a different color if you go to the walmart walmart logo has a different color so every company has a different theme like a color combination whether you open any page in that application it should follow that theme it should follow the theme and the logo should be displayed always now in order to do this salesforce theme is a different salesforce theme is a blue color and it has a salesforce logo now if you are implementing a application for the hdfc then we should follow the theme and coloring for the hdfc now if i wanted to implement this kind of a requirement how can i do it how can i do it what is required now let's say that for example let's take a scenario the scenario is i wanted to travel from one place to another place if i want to travel from one place to another place there are so many options are there so many transportations are there let's assume that we are going to travel by train now when we are going to travel by train now first thing what we will do the first thing we will book the seat right so it's a uh, i'm talking about in india train so in us usually when you have to either you need to have a some card in order to travel by the train right that means you will purchase a some card when purchase a card and if you have uh, scanned before getting into the train that means you are allocating the seat for yourself or you have booked something for you have booked that train now when we book the seat by paying some amount the amount will be deducted from the either credit card or a whatever the card you have it assume that it is deducted now just compare the same thing with the sales force now here what you are doing is you are booking the train when you book the train now you are traveling from one place to another place for example you are traveling from hyderabad to gujarat that means you are ultimately booking the seat so that seat is completely occupied for yourself nobody can sit there but similarly in salesforce when you purchase a license you are purchasing a license by paying some amount that means as soon as you purchase a amount the crm application there is a some space is allocated for your implementation so they will allocate certain space based on the how much you have purchased it based on that they will allocate a space in the crm application now right now the assume that you have a train so when you have a train means that is a infrastructure that is database.com train is nothing but a where everybody in the train everybody go and sit what are the places they are in like it is divided into the blocks right similarly in salesforce we have a service called infrastructure as service so in this infrastructure as, as part of this infrastructure as service salesforce is providing the database.com so in the database.com it will divide the block wise to so to store only certain information it, it will be organized way so it will be stored the data in the organized way that means whatever the data related to the customer it should only go to the customer block and what are the data related to the payment it should only go to the payment block so it will be divided block by block and now we have a train and we have purchased a seat right now where this train runs train runs on the track which is nothing but a on platform it runs on the platform now without platform or without track can train runs it is not possible right now it is not possible right maybe in future we might have something but right now in india it is not possible without a platform or a without a track we cannot run the train now similarly in salesforce we have a concept track is nothing but a platform track is nothing but platform so in salesforce also we have a platform now in the same way to run the salesforce crm we need a platform just having the salesforce crm and database.com is not enough we need a platform to run the salesforce crm so that is called as a development environment or else it is a part of the force.com this is part of the platform as a service platform as a service 
So they got the Salesforce CRM and the database.com. Now, where the Salesforce CRM is running, Salesforce CRM is running on the platform as a service. So when we open the Salesforce CRM, how all the features are visible. The, and whenever the organization takes a license from the Salesforce, what they will get it? Now they will get Salesforce CRM, database.com, as well as the, the platform it is provided. So platform also will be there in order to run the Salesforce CRM. Now Salesforce CRM, and storage mechanism. It's a basically storage mechanism in the survey. Now, will this be enough in the organization or they need any other? Now, basically, they need a platform as a service. Is It is a to build. Software as a service is to use. Infrastructure as a service is to, to use. To store. So we have a three services. software as a service which is to use platform as a service is to build and infrastructure as a service is to store. So these three are very important. Now the one which we are seeing is platform as a service to build. As part of the platform as a service, Salesforce is providing the development environment, which is called Force.com. So Force.com is used by the admin as well as it can be used by the developers. It is used for configuration, customization, or existing CRM. You are modifying the existing CRM application. That means you are customizing the existing CRM application or else development of any kind of a new application from small website to the enterprise application. Platform as a service is to use to develop any kind of new application and develop deployment of the application. If you want to deploy the changes, whatever you have customized it, if you want to deploy from one application to, if you want to deploy from one place to another place, for the deployment of the application also we use a platform as service. So these are about the platform as service. Now a couple of questions. Now what is a platform? Now which platform is provided by the Salesforce as part of platform as a service? What can be done with post.com platform? So these are the questions and you know answers for this, right? So what is a platform here? Force.com. Platform is the as part of yeah. And what can be done with the force.com platform? You can customize applications. We can customize, configure, deploy, develop, everything we can do it using the post.com. So that's the Salesforce services. 